As the book Last Child in the Woods illustrates, children today are losing touch with nature. Being outside helps kids with coordination, learning, attention span, and problem solving. Michelle Klingerman, a park interpreter from the St. Joseph County Parks, teaches an outdoor nature class for preschoolers. Michelle, welcome to the show. Hi, Gordy. Thank so, you. So you're teaching preschoolers about nature. I am teaching preschoolers. How old are they? They are three and four year olds. And they come with their parents, obviously, right? Right. And that's, that's what's different about nature munchkins, because the parents actually stay and they learn with their child. Nature Munchkins, I like the name. Uh, what, what can they expect to learn in, in this uh, class? Well, typically, it just depends on the topic. Like this week, we're gonna be learning about birds. Mm -hmm. um, every month, there's a theme. So it could be birds, it can be animals that live in a pond, it could be bats or owls. It just mm -hmm. depends on whatever the topic is that I pick. Now, how do some of these kids respond? Because many of them, this might be the first time that they really get out in nature and really start to learn a little bit about uh, what's out there. Right. Um, you know, actually, a lot of them are really, really enthusiastic. They love to touch the stuff, and that's a big uh -huh. part of the program is hands-on. Okay. So usually I have either felts or pelts or a study skin for right. the kids to get to a, touch. A study skin. Is a that study what this this just looks like a dead bird to me that you brought in. <laughs> what kind of bird is was this? That is actually a European starling. Okay. But like this week, the kids are going to learn about birds, so they'll learn about what makes a bird be a bird, uh -huh. and this gives them a chance to actually touch the bird, feel the beak, feel mm -hmm. the, feel the feathers, feel the feet. You've got a you got a real nest here. Right? Yep. We talk about what the females do in the spring, how they mm -hmm. lay their eggs, lay their eggs in nests. We talk about the whole kind of myth about touching. You know, should you or shouldn't? Shouldn't mm -hmm. you touch a bird's nest? Mm -hmm. So all hands on, and and then we get outside, and mm -hmm. then we just have a blast. And uh, now you brought this along. What is this? Uh what am I supposed to learn? What do the kids learn from this? <laughs> well, We've got a couple of uh, toilet tissue tubes and some yarn here. Right. Well, you know what? Put all those all together and you have the best <laughs> binoculars in the world for three and four year olds. It does actually help focus on, on yeah. something, right? Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, for grown ups, <laughs> when we look through binoculars, it's going to look like one big circle and that's right. what the kids are going to see. So they have they have a lot of fun with decorating those and then taking them outside. And, and you brought some, some other birds here. I did. Oh. What? That's, what is that? That's a black capped chickadee. Sure. Sounds okay. like. And what do we have here? That is a red tailed <laughs> hawk. And if you squeeze okay. that one too, that one will make the. the sounds just like a red tail. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the kids love those. And then just a good old Oops. blue jay, but that one doesn't make any noise. No, okay, and so. you've got a couple of feathers here too. So you get to show them a little bit uh, and, and walk around outside. Uh, right, yep, we usually, we start out the morning with a story and then we do hands-on things and mm -hmm. then we get all dressed and then we mm -hmm. head out on the trails and, and look under and over every nook and cranny with, yeah. with mom and dad. How so. big are the groups that you usually gather together on these, uh, on these uh, walks through nature? I keep it to 10 okay. because when you have children and then plus you have parents, you know, you end up with a pretty big group. So this way it's, it, I can have more one-on-one -on -one time with the kids. Mm -hmm. So 10 is the max. Okay. And this happens uh, every week uh, on Thursdays, is that right? Tip, well, once a month on oh, the third every, Thursday oh, once of a each month. month. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And how can folks find out more about this and where, where would they go to register? Well, they can call the Nature Center at Bendix Woods, mm -hmm. which is 6543155, or they can go to our park website at wsjcparks.org mm -hmm. and now see the, the information on the class. Now, this, uh, this upcoming class is called Nature Munchkins? It's, it's Nature Munchkins oh, is, is the name of the preschool class. Okay. Yeah. And you have different topics every every month? Correct. Okay. Yep, every what, month. What's the next topic that's coming up? Next month, we're actually going to be learning about animals that live in the ponds. Oh, okay. And so the kids get to pond scoop, and we catch dragonfly nymphs and, and tadpoles and all kinds of cool things. Well, that does sound like a lot of fun. Well, it is fun. Uh, Michelle, thanks for coming in. We'll have some more information on our website at experiencemichiana.org.